say in the Constitution, anywhere, that a state can't decide to leave the Union? No! Miss Carroll. Good evening. To what do we owe the honor of this visit? You've done some railroad lobbying. Actually, my daughter Anne is the lobbyist. Slavery is our economic system. If you are in a minority, you are ignored. Perhaps slavery is an institution that's become tired, like old politicians. Who do we support? Abraham Lincoln. They say he's as tall as a giraffe, and his clothes don't fit. If he's a pro-union man, what does it matter what he looks like? Gentlemen, I know next to nothing about military operations. But I do know that we just took a big licking. May I present to you Mary Lincoln, my wife, Anna Carroll. Very nice to meet you, Mrs. President. We have one doctor and no chloroform, and I'm the only nurse. Let the people there know the truth about what this war is like. Sir, you are the President of the United States. This is a national emergency. You can suspend habeas corpus. General Lee is about to show us his specialty. How a small army can defeat a lot of them. Damn it. There is a Baltimore gang planning to kill the president. Take heed. I found it. You found what? The Tennessee River is navigable all the way to Muscle Shoals. I have a battle plan. This plan, if done in secrecy, that will split the South and open up the Mississippi. Not one single military man among us, not one single Navy man came up with this plan. It is the work of a civilian. However, not only is it the work of a civilian, it is the work of a woman. You sent for me, Mr. President? <laughs>